let's get into some advanced spreadsheets. Uh, and so for that, I'm going to be doing a demonstration of building a work plan uh, in a DOS spreadsheet. So we're going to be using the As Easy As spreadsheet today. Uh, and if you want to know more about how to build work plans, you can read in the uh, chapter that I wrote for the Open Organization Workbook. Uh, and I'll put a link to this in the description for the video. Uh, and I also teach a uh, IT manager's uh, program as part of my uh, company, IT Mentor Group, and there's the website there. Let's go ahead and start a simple work plan. Uh, and uh, we can do this in as easy as. Uh, and we're going to do a couple of uh, things here. First, we're going to set it up so we can uh, track the individual uh, tasks that someone is uh, going to be working on. Uh, and we want to put columns in here for every week in a quarter, because maybe we're going to be doing quarterly based work plans. That's a pretty common method of uh, tracking time or planning time. Um, and so how many um, weeks are there in a quarter? Well, if there's 52 weeks in a year, then there's uh, 26 weeks uh, is half of that. And a quarter, uh, which would be half of those 26, is 13. So there's 13 weeks in a quarter. And so I've got columns here that now go uh, 1 to 13. Uh, let's actually make this look a little better. We'll put a date in, uh, in, in, in B2, or this, this uh, row 2. Um, and so the way you do a date in, uh, uh, in as easy as is you use the date function. Uh, so every function begins with the at sign. So you can see what I'm typing in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, and so date. Uh, and date takes three arguments. Uh, so this, I want to put the start of the of the last quarter for the year, and uh, the year. Uh, the first option you put in is the year 2019. Uh, then you want to put in the month nine, and then the day. And so this should be the first Monday of the last quarter for this year. Uh, you can see it actually inserts it as a number because everything in a spreadsheet is actually uh, a number unless it's text. So um, we want to uh, format this to be a date uh, because that's what the date function is it's really trying to return. So let's go ahead and use slash to bring up the menu. And we want to uh, go into formatting uh, this, which is under range. And let's go down to Format, and we'll go down to Date. And I can see the different options here for formatting uh, the date. Uh, I want to just do the, the day and month, just a very simple way to track uh, a date. Uh, so where do I want to put that? I want to put that across all of the uh, dates that I'm going to be putting in for this uh, quarter. So I'm going to use the cursor to just um, stretch the uh, the range, or I can just type it in. Uh, and what's my range look like? Well, it goes all the way out to N, uh, so B2 to N2. Hit return, and it's now going to format everything in that area as uh, a date. Um, now let's go ahead and, and put dates to the rest of this. I could just be typing that at date uh, for every week. That would be kind of hard. Uh, I'd rather not uh, do that. I'm uh, going to use instead a way to um, add uh, a week for every column. So the way that I want to do that is I want to do some uh, spreadsheet math, let the spreadsheet do the work for me. So I'm going to uh, start by uh, typing a plus, which makes it look like it's a calculation. Uh, and B2 is the date that I had to my left. Oops. And I'm going to add uh, seven. That's add seven days. And you can see here return, and that's now going to add seven days. Easy way to now copy that across the rest of my spreadsheet. Do a slash, and I want to use copy cell. Now I'm going to copy from C2 to C2. That's exactly where my cursor is. And I want to put that into uh, D2 to N2, right? Remember N was the column that had uh, number 13, 13th week in it. And now I can see that it's it's done that same calculation where it's adding 7 to the cell before it all the way out through the end of the quarter. So let's go ahead now and start to enter some tasks. So in column A, um, this person, um, let, let's say we've got somebody here who does uh, some web work on a team. Uh, and so uh, one of their things is that they uh, might have to respond to support tickets. Uh, so we'll just say uh, web support. 
Uh, they might be working on a project, so we'll uh, put in uh, a web project that they're working on, and they might have another project that is a little more urgent. Uh, maybe it's something they're just working on this quarter, uh, and so we'll say urgent uh, project. Uh, maybe this person has some skills about uh, web migration. They've been asked uh, to be loaned to another department for, for the quarter. So we're going to go ahead and track their time there. Uh, I'm going to commit some time to that person. Uh, so we're going to say um, migration uh, work. That's the, the, the work they've been loaned out. Uh, and then uh, as I need to do support for that, um, uh, we probably should track uh, that they're doing some support work for them as well. Also want to keep track of their uh, vacations and holidays, right? We need to account for that at some point. People need to take some time off. So uh, we'll put in uh, a row here for vacation, another one for uh, holidays. Uh, now, I, I probably should adjust the, the width of this first column so that way my numbers uh, don't step over my text. So let's go ahead and change this uh, column A width. So uh, again, I'm going to go into the menu with slash. And I want to adjust uh, the column width, which is under the sheet menu. And you can see here column width. I'm just hitting return. Uh, and I'm going to set the width of the column that my cursor is in. That's the cursor column. Set width. And let's just call it, no, let's just call it 16. That's probably a good width. Uh, and so now I've adjusted the width of column A. So how much time is this person uh, going to be working on web support every week? Uh, so every column is a week. So web support, probably going to be, uh, let's say, probably half a day. Right? The general rule in doing work plans is you don't want to be planning for less than um, half a day a week. That's, that's four hours, really, when you think about it. Um, so you really can't, uh, can't plan for anything uh, smaller than that. Um, so 0.5 is what we'll put in for the support tasks. Uh, the web project they're working on, Probably that's about a, a day every every week. Uh, the urgent project they're working on probably needs a little more time than that. We'll just, we'll just say uh, simple of uh, two days in a week. Uh, how much time are they, are they spending working on uh, migration? Uh, I might have uh, uh, loaned them out to this other manager and given them uh, probably let's say one and a half days in in, in the week. Um, and uh, how much time are they doing support? Well, probably another. Uh, 0.5. Uh, this week one, they're not planning any vacations or holidays, so I don't, I'm not putting anything there. Uh, and then let's go ahead and do uh, a total for the week. So we'll do, uh, we need to do a sum. So again, it's a function, so I'm going to hit the at, and that'll let me type in a function. All functions start with an at sign, and in this case we're going to do a sum of this column. So it starts at b3, and uh, do a range, that's dot dot, and then down to B11, that includes the vacations and holidays. So B3 to B11. And that's five and a half days. So I need to adjust my time somewhere. Um, do I want to... Uh, uh, probably will want to take away... Let's take away some time from the uh, migration work. And, th and that person's been uh, loaned out for uh, one and a half days. That, that makes a little more sense. Um, that person's going to be loaned out. So um, now I've got it down to five. That's the right uh, time, right? There's five days uh, to work in a week, so I've got five. Uh, now let's go ahead and, and copy everything over here through the rest of the quarter. So um, I want to uh, copy these cells. So I'm going to go back into the menu, slash, and I want to copy cell, copy a range of cells. And what do I want to copy from? Well, you can just use the cursors to highlight this, or you could type in that I want to do uh, everything, including that sum. So B3 to B13. And where do I want to put it? Well, you remember, uh, it goes uh, starts at C3, but it goes all the way out to column N, because that's where the end of the quarter was. So I want to do from C3 to N. N13, right? That way my uh, it's the same number of rows. And hit return. You can see it's now copied all of these numbers uh, across the entire quarter. And uh, down here at the bottom, it's including the sums for just the row that it's in. It's actually translated the references for all of those uh, sums so that it actually uh, is a rel correct relative reference. 
Um, now, as I need to type in some uh, some dates for or some time for uh, vacations and holidays, I actually can't see now which rows were what. So um, let's let's fix that. Let's let's set what's called the border. Uh, and the way that you set a border is you go to um, where you want it to not be bordered, uh, basically the start of the, the scrollable area, and uh, that's where we're going to put our cursor. Go into the menu, uh, and this is under sheet because we're controlling the sheet. And there's border down here. And I want to set, you can set the uh, horizontal border, and that means it's going to uh, fix the rows above where my cursor is so that they don't scroll if I go up and down. Or I can do it to fix the columns to the left of my cursor so that, that way as I go left and right, the left column uh, doesn't go away. Uh, or I can do it where it's both, uh, what's above and to the left of my cursor. So I'm going to go ahead and select both. And now you can see that if I uh, move the cursor off to the right, uh, I still keep that column A. Uh, and if this were uh, a larger spreadsheet with more rows in it, then the further down that I went, uh, I wouldn't uh, lose my two uh, top columns, or two top rows, uh, which shows the, uh, the week number and the date. Um, now, let's go ahead and put in some time. Uh, this person's uh, going to be taking, uh, well, in the U.S., we get uh, uh, both uh, the 24th and the 25th of December off, so that person's going to be getting uh, two days of holiday. Maybe this person's taking the entire week off, uh, so they'll take the other three days. Uh, now, you can see down here my sum has automatically uh, gone to 10. We'll fix that in a little bit. So the week of Thanksgiving, I think that's the week of um, Monday, the 25th of November. Uh, again, in the U.S., we typically get uh, uh, Thursday and Friday of Thanksgiving off. So uh, we're going to put in two days of holiday. Uh, maybe this person is uh, going out of town, uh, visiting family. And so they're going to be taking an additional uh, vacation day of one. And maybe the week that they get back, they're going to be uh, taking that following Monday off because maybe that's another travel day for them. So we'll put in a one over there. So now I've got three columns where the sum is above five. So I need to adjust some time. Uh, let's go ahead and start over here on uh, uh, the week of Christmas because that's the easiest, right? We've This person's going to be gone the entire week. Uh, they've got three days of uh, vacation. They've got the two days of holiday. So they're going to uh, just put in zero for the other time. And now I've got the uh, sum is back down to uh, five, which is correct. Uh, now the week that they're they've got Thanksgiving, uh, they're they're really not in the office that, that that much. They're here for the first two days, pretty much. Then they're gone. Um, so maybe during that time, um, we said, okay, that that person doesn't have to work on this other assignment. So we're going to just put in uh, zeros for those. Uh, I still need to get another day and a half out of that person. Uh, or taking time away, so um, what's coming away? Uh, well, maybe this person can say, well, maybe this, this uh, web project doesn't need to have uh, any time put to it that week. Uh, we can, uh, that's just a general project. Um, probably the urgent project needs to get priority, so maybe we can shift uh, web support responsibility to someone else on the team, so we'll just put zero in for that as well. And so now we're down to five. Um, the, uh, the the week that they come back, they, they're going to be gone for a day, so they need to take away some time. Uh, and maybe one way that we do that is we uh, we just take a little bit of time away from the web project, so we'll bring that to 0.5, and uh, we'll take a little bit of time away from that urgent project, uh, 1.5, right? Not, not too much time, just a little bit of time. And so now I've got um, my totals are now back down to 5 for all 13 weeks of the quarter. Uh, and before I leave the spreadsheet, uh, I probably want to get rid of that border that I put in there before. Let's go ahead and go slash to go to the menu, uh, sheet, border, and we're going to go ahead and clear the border. And you can see that now I've done that, I can move the cursor left and right, and I get my uh, first column. Uh, we'll scroll out, uh, and the further out that I go to the end of the quarter. 
And that's it for uh, building a work plan in a uh, in a spreadsheet like as easy as. So what'd you think of that? Are there other uh, things I should be covering in spreadsheets? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Also visit us on our website at freedos.org and join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.